I want to take the appeal further to His Excellency the President to understand this situation is horrible. It's ugly. And our security situation is not getting any better. As the President of the Republic of Kenya, I wish I can stand here and say there is any security support that he has not given that I can say there is a gap in terms of support from the President or the security managers at the top level. Everything I've literally asked for Mandela in terms of security have been provided, but there are still gaps in terms of uh, security provision. We have more than 3,000 security forces in this town, in this county. But Al-Shabaab have had access to areas they have never previously accessed. My brother, uh, Ndalama, the RC of Northeastern region, as well as my brother, the county commissioner of Mandera, Ones Matkiata, have disputed my statement that said more than 50% of this county is under the control of Al-Shabaab in terms of roads infrastructure. Well, it's very convenient for you to say, I ignore, and that reality is not there. It was in me. This is not true. But the, the absolute truth and the absolute reality that I, as the governor of Mandera County, not any other ordinary person mandated to run the affairs of this county, do categorically and authoritatively state that more than 50% of this county's roads are under the control of Al Shabaab. <laughs> now you can choose to conveniently say it was in me, it's not there, and that story is not true. There are isolated cases. Ever since I made that report, we've had four incidences of terror attacks. We are discussing areas that Al Shabaab have never previously accessed. We are talking about, you know, Takaba. Ramu Road. We are talking about Wargadud Takaba Road. We are talking about Elwak Takaba Road. We are talking about Takaba Kofole Road. We are talking about Mandera Ramu Road. We are talking about Ramu Banisa Road. We are talking about Banisa Ram, Ramu Road. We are talking about Interior. We are talking about Ashabito. We are talking about Ola, Guba, Banisa. We are talking about Terkale, Burashum. We are talking about Ditkuro. We, we are talking about Bolole and, uh, and you know, Wangaidan. We are talking about Burmao, areas that Al Shabaab have never accessed. And the footprints of Al Shabaab is there. Now, you want to choose as a country, as a nation, and as security managers to say uh, the governor is hallucinated. You know, he is just speaking, you know, out of the blue. He just woke up. And he started saying, oh, it makes me feel nice. It doesn't make me feel nice. I put my life on the line to discuss Al-Shabaab. You know, but the reality is we have a problem. We have a problem. And the government of Kenya must understand. And I wish, unlike before in 2015, 2013, 2014, I could blame the President of the Republic of Kenya for not supporting us. But that is not the case. Today, I cannot challenge, I cannot dare face the president with any request because there are no gaps in terms of request. There are no gaps in terms of support. Everything of us, we need security camp here, it's given. We need more vehicles, it's given. We need special ops team, it's given. We need, we have more than 20 camps, new. Askari to Mepewa, Magari to Mepewa, Bunduki to Mepewa, Rizas to Mepewa. Lakini, Al-Shabaab is having unrestricted access into the interior. What is it that we are doing wrong if we have all these personnel in this county? You know, I should be able to say, Sijapewa support as, as, uh, as a county. Nimepewa every support. But the management of security in the county at the regional level and at the county level has an issue in, with respect to dealing with these terror threats that is extremely dynamic, changing face. 
And this is the issue that we have of concern. I wish I could keep quiet. You know, it's very convenient to find a way I can keep quiet. Where do I keep quiet? If out of 295 schools, primary schools, 129 are literally not open. How do I keep quiet when no private sector investment is happening in Mandera? The only source of employment is the county government because of insecurity. How do I keep quiet when we cannot attract a special skilled personnel to come and work for us in the hospitals and other departments from other counties because of insecurity? How can I keep quiet when our traders are not able to transport goods from Nairobi to Mandera on our roads? How do I keep quiet when I cannot move freely with the other leaders to be able to go to constituencies and wards freely. And I have remained in, uh, in Mandera for the last three years, never being able to go to the sub-counties as, as a result of insecurity. How do we keep quiet? You know, the government should tell us, should we give up our hands and give in to Al-Shabaab? This is not possible. Extraordinary situations demand for extraordinary attention. Talking about governor has made this statement for popularity. What kind of popularity am I talking about when it's the life of the population that is under threat? Last night, just last night, the Guru Master was attacked. If it's not for the public, that would have been a major disaster. Every day, areas previously in access is happening. The best way to solve a problem is to acknowledge the existence of the problem. If you are in a state of denial, how do you solve? If the RC is in a state of denial, the, the county commissioner is in a state of denial, how do you solve a problem? How do you plan for a problem whose existence you refuse? How do you plan for a problem whose existence you refuse? Providing a solution starts with acknowledging there being the problem. There is nothing required from Nairobi. Everything is here. We just need to strategically plan to make sure the resources we have of security within the county is optimally utilized to make sure that we deal with the challenge at hand. This is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. And I cannot keep quiet. It's impossible as a leader for me to say, no, this is fine. Uh, it's, uh, Mimi Sasa security is not my mandate. The public affairs is my mandate. Their welfare is my ma mandate. <laughs> yeah? Their problem is my mandate. Their schooling is my mandate. Their health access is my mandate. How do you keep quiet? Oh, it's not my mandate. This is not going to happen. And we want the national government, the president has given all the resource. I want to request the president of the Republic of Kenya to make sure he gets the security managers to work on the problem of Mandera with everything it's got, because we are a sovereign state that cannot give up our, sovereign, our sovereignty to the rule of terror. And the managers, given the responsibility at the county level and at the regional level, are just busy denying there being a problem. There is attack on, on mask. You say, it wasn't me. We deny. That story is not there. Three people have been abducted and they're missing. Yeah, you see, it wasn't me. There's no big problem. We are under control. By the way, we are doing everything we have and everything is under control. More masks are getting attacked. Oh, we are under control. Everything is going great. It's not going great. There's a major problem that is taking shape. And we have sufficient personnel. Nairobi should not send us more police, more military, more RDU, RBPU, GSU. Nairobi should concentrate on making sure the resources we have within the county is working. The resources we have within the region, Mandera Garissa Wajia is working.